All right, guys, we're here to do another video on the Legion Go 2 that I have here. I'm really excited to showcase a, a pretty big help on this because we all love our Legion Go 2s. A lot of us are getting them nowadays and, uh, you know, really excited about it. Some of us still have it on pre-order coming in soon. And one of the main selling points about this thing is, of course, the screen itself, the OLED screen and the HDR that the screen provides. But out of the box, you need to definitely configure some settings to get, to get HDR to look optimal in Windows on, or else it's not going to look as good as it obviously could. And I'm going to walk you through some of the settings and how to actually set your HDR settings correctly in Windows for the Legion Go 2 so you guys can get the setup working and correctly. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Game in tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. So one of the things we want to talk about now is HDR because as we know this is an OLED display but there is HDR calibration that you need to do in Windows and we also want to set this up correctly. So when we talked about before when I set the brightness up here on the settings uh, that we talked about before, we want to actually set the brightness level to 43%. That seems to be the magic number that a lot of people online are talking about to be able to really highlight like the HDR and you know the, to, to really mimic what you want HDR to look like when you're doing these Windows settings. So we're going to set the brightness to 60 uh, to 43 like you see there. So the first thing you want to turn off here is when you go to display settings on your Windows uh, on Windows here as you guys are looking at here and you're looking at the brightness tab, you want to turn this off. Change brightness automatically when lightning when lighting changes. You want to turn that off. Usually it doesn't work very well anyway and a lot of people in the community also tell you to turn that off as well. So we went ahead and turned that off. We also want to go into the AMD software here. You guys are seeing that I have the AMD software pulled up here. And in the display settings, you see something called VR Bright, and it's set to three to optimize battery life, which is what it's set to now. You want to actually just turn this all the way off, just set it to zero so it's sitting at maximum brightness that you technically set. You don't want these things to automatically be adjusting brightness based on what it thinks because we know that that stuff usually never works well. So both of those options have been turned off. The next thing we got to do, like I talked about, is setting this correctly to the brightness. So we talked about this already. So you can pull this up on here if you haven't already and just set the brightness here to 43%. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the Windows calibration for HDR. We know all about that uh, when it comes to Windows. So we're going to go back into display settings. We're going to see HDR here. And you can see in HDR. So you can see right here at the bottom HDR display calibration. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. It's going to make us download a little HDR calibration tool from the Windows Store. Now we're going to go ahead and open that calibration app as you guys are seeing here. Oh, actually, we need to go ahead and turn the setting back on first. No, we don't want to turn off HDR when the BC is running on battery life. So make sure that that's turned off too. So we now have HDR turned on now that we can turn it on and took that retarded setting off about the battery life. All right, so now we can go back and go into the app that we were talking about before. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. There's the HDR calibration. We're going to go ahead and hit get started. So you can see the minimum luminance is the first thing. Now, these settings are specific to the Legion Go 2 that a lot of people have already discussed online. So keep that in mind. So what we wanted to do for the minimum luminance here is you want to set this to zero nits. You want this because according to the community, this is necessary because you're using an OLED and you want to have perfect black. So you want to set minimum luminance to zero. So we're going to go ahead and set this to zero because if you put this anywhere higher, then you can see the numbers there. So you want this set to zero so it can get as dark as possible with the perfect blacks that an OLED provides. Then we're going to go ahead and hit next. Then you can see maximum luminance on the next screen. So calibrate maximum luminance. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this here, right here at the bottom. And you should find that if you did every step correctly that we talked about before, you can see that we're trying to make the, this might not come across very well on this video, but we're trying to make the cross disappear as it says there so it's not visible. What you want is for it to be a white box just like that and then not the X showing. And if you did every step before correctly, you should basically get to like 1,100 and then you should have a perfectly square white box. So you basically set it to 1,100 and you can see a perfectly square box and then you go ahead and hit next. And again, you're going to do the same thing on the next screen here and you're going to find yourself at the same thing. 1,100 is going to be where that box 
disappears. Then you're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then you're gonna to get to the color saturation part. This is obviously dependent on you. So this isn't more or less like what you want it to be. Uh, you can see the preview and stuff like that. A lot of people, this is personal preference. I'm gonna set this to max because I want the color saturation to be set to max, but this is more dependent on what you like. So you can set this to whatever you want. So personal taste is if you want it to be more accurate colors, then you would kind of leave this a lot lower. But if you want it to pop a lot more uh, and have those poppy colors, then you would set it to more. So it really just depends on you on how you want this. Uh, if you want the colors to be really poppy, then you set it to more. If you want it to be somewhere in the middle, or if you want it less and you want it to be more accurate, then you set it there. But I like poppy colors on an HDR display, so I set mine to more. And then when you hit next, you will see what it looks like after calibration, and you can see what the highlights will look like. So you can see before calibration here, if you guys can tell on the camera here, let me see if I could focus in a little bit. Uh, you can see on the left image there, you couldn't even see the sun. All you saw was a bunch of yellow. But here on the right side now, you can actually see that there's actually a sun back there. So you can see that it's like the clouds look better and you can see that it's more defined there with the yellow sun in the background. So you can see the calibration obviously made a big difference to how that actually looks if it's coming across here on the camera. So you can go ahead and hit finish and you have officially calibrated your Legion Go uh, correctly. And now you're all set to enjoy HDR gaming on the Legion Go. Thank you.